Where else would you find Olympians, Shaquille O'Neal, and your favorite cartoon artists? Right here at Cartoon Network's Hall of Game Awards. We're going to be talking to some celebrities and your favorite athletes. Ashley, how are you doing? Hi, how are you? Good, nice to meet you. Nice Ashley Point Hansen. Okay, so tell me what it was like being in the Olympics this year. The Olympics was unreal. It was such a dream come true to be able to share the experience with my best friends was amazing and I'm so thankful for the opportunity. So when you were little, like when did this start? When did your dream start? Uh, well, I started gymnastics when I was two, just with mommy and me classes. I had a lot of energy and I loved it. And then when I was eight, my mom gave me a VCR of the 96 uh, Olympics when the girls won the team final. So I was obsessed with it. I watched it every day and I had every score memorized. So when you were like, hey mom, I want to go to the Olympics, was she like, all right, Allie, let's do it? Or was she like, I don't know? Well, when we watched the 2004 Olympics, when Carly Patterson won, my mom was like, wow, her mom must be so nervous. I'm glad I'll never have to go through that. And I got really mad at her because I wanted to go to the Olympics and she had no idea. That was when she first realized that my dream was to go to the Olympics. But they were always so supportive of me and they were always rooting for me for, uh, no matter what. What was it like, like balancing school and training? Obviously you have to make a lot of sacrifices. Tell me about that. Um, it's definitely hard, but I think if you love something and you work hard, anything's possible. You can do anything you set your mind to doing, but I guess just to never procrastinate, I always did my schoolwork whenever I could, and I was at the gym up to seven hours a day, so it was hard, but I loved it, and I had a dream, so I made it work. Wow, that's insane. I couldn't imagine doing that seven hours a day. I know. I When I look back, I can't even imagine. I mean, I basically lived at the gym last year. I took my senior year online, but I still, of course, worked really hard in school because that's a priority. Okay, so Jordan told me she's already training for the 2016 Olympics. How about you? Right now I'm not training. I'm still busy traveling, but I will definitely begin training again in a few months. All right, we'll keep an eye out for Allie 2016. Thanks for watching. If you like this interview, make sure you like this video and for more interviews, subscribe. I'm at Ryan Lochte.